So I know that it sounds like you're saying that the common belief that if your vision is bad, that you have to get measured for glasses. And now we're not talking about serious eye disease at this point, although I'm going to ask you about that in a, few, in a minute, but because I know you, you have worked with um, eye diseases. But the ordinary person that gets glasses, and then usually you hear like, well, my glasses are too weak, so I went you know, to the optometrist because you, know, you keep getting stronger and stronger glasses each time you go, right? It's like you kind of wear them out. and you know. So is that um, the way it should be, or do you think it should be different? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's absolutely not questions. the way it should be. <laughs> <laughs> but it does happen that way a lot. If you start wearing glasses, then the glasses create extra strain because glasses have an optical center if you look straight through the center of the glasses, that's where you're designed to see best. But, but your eyes move. They don't stay straight ahead all the time. They move. So at some point, they'll look through the edges of the glasses. And there, the vision will not be as good. So you're going to end up either trying to squint to see through the edges of the glass or to try and keep your eyes in that center and start moving your head on naturally. And either way is more strain for your eyes. That's not the way they naturally move. It's not the way they naturally see. So the glasses add strain and therefore cause blurry vision down the line and therefore the need for stronger glasses over time. But, you're, but, but the, with the Bates system, they're kind of saying it doesn't have to be like that, right? No, exactly. If you avoid the glasses in the first place or go back to a lower prescription if necessary, but if you avoid them in the first place, then chances are very good that you can get back to clarity in a short period of time. Mm 